the final video in our increasing revenue series, we're going to discuss minimizing turnover and vacancies. Vacancies are an expense no landlord can afford. The longer a unit sits empty, the more money you lose. In order to reduce vacancies, your best bet is to lower tenant turnover. Avoiding vacancy isn't the only benefit of minimizing turnover though. Replacing tenants right after one leaves can be a costly expense. To do so, you must clean the unit, sometimes make costly repairs to make it presentable again, advertise the vacancy, screen prospective tenants, and more. Long story short, keeping good long-term tenants saves you time and money. We've curated a list of tips to help you minimize tenant turnover and decrease vacancy, and therefore maximize your profit. The first thing on our list is to find good tenants. Good tenants are typically ones that are long-term renters, consistently pay on time, don't damage your property, and are overall low maintenance. The main way that good tenants minimize tenant turnover is by staying longer. Having one good tenant who occupies your unit for three years costs you a lot less than having three tenants who only stay for one year at a time. What's more, a good tenant will do their best to keep your property looking nice meaning that you'll have fewer repairs and cleaning to do once they leave. To find good tenants, you'll want to research your ideal tenant. You should know who you're looking for and what they want out of a rental property. It's also good to market to your target demographic. Using listing sites, social media, and newspaper ads will bring in prospective tenants. You'll also want to complete screenings. Once you start collecting applications, complete thorough screenings. Tenant screening should cover credit reports, past landlord checks, employer checks, and county level criminal checks. And finally, you'll want to keep the tenants. After you've locked down a good tenant, do what it takes to keep them. Another way to keep good long-term tenants even longer is to upgrade the property. Tenants are less likely to leave if you put in the work to keep them happy. It doesn't need to happen all at once, but every now and then you should offer to upgrade some aspect of the property. Staying up to date on appliances, flooring, paint, etc., shows that you value your tenants while also increasing the value of your property. Even though updating your property will come with an upfront cost, you will be able to adjust rent accordingly. Updating gradually throughout a tenant's stay will also give you less work to do once they move out. Start with what needs updated the most. Then move on to the requests of your tenant. Adjust rent accordingly. You shouldn't hike up your tenant's rent to exorbitant prices, but it is okay to ask for a little more over time. Remember, you're trying to minimize tenant turnover here. You want them to stay. Next on our list is giving discounts to new tenants or even pre-existing tenants at the time of lease renewal, which is a way to show your tenants that you care. You can either research and curate a list of discounts offered by local businesses or buy a coupon book specific to your area. This is an especially thoughtful gesture for tenants who are moving in from out of town. Little things like giving out discounts can be the difference between you and your competitors. Showing tenants that you value them and their business will make them more inclined to stay with you rather than moving on to a different property. Another thing to consider as our world becomes paperless is that people want to pay for things online. Rent is no exception. Paying online is faster, easier, and more convenient than sending in checks or cash. Offering tenants the ability to pay online will set you apart from your competitors and act as an incentive for lease renewals. Collecting rent online also saves you time and money. You don't have to manually count cash, write receipts, wait for checks to clear, or do your own bookkeeping. Using property management software to collect rent electronically does all of the hard work for you. It even enables tenants to automate payments and allows you to send payment reminders, which minimizes late payments. Another tip, remember special dates such as birthdays, anniversaries, and holidays. This is a little thing you can do to set yourself apart from other landlords. Whether you send out a text or email or give out a small gift, Recognizing special dates shows your tenants how much you care. Going that extra mile is what will encourage your tenants to continue renting with you. Our next suggestion is to be prepared and proactive. When you know a unit is about to become vacant, don't sit idly by and watch it happen. 
Being prepared and proactive can decrease or even eliminate vacancies. But what does being prepared and proactive look like? Mostly, it just means paying attention and acting before a vacancy becomes an issue. If you know a tenant's lease is close to running out, contact them to discuss a renewal. You can even offer incentives to make re-signing a more attractive option. If a tenant informs you that they will be moving out at the end of their lease, list the property as soon as you find out. Being on top of things will save you from lost money at the hands of vacancies. Another major factor in avoiding and minimizing vacancies is marketing your property. In the age of the internet, there are more resources than ever to help you market your vacancy. It's just the simple matter of capitalizing on those resources. When marketing your property, you should highlight the most attractive features of the space while being realistic about its potential drawbacks. Having high quality pictures and informative descriptions will set your listing apart from the others. You also have to choose the best methods of marketing for your business. Your primary options include online listing sites, paid searches, and print ads. Last but not least, sometimes it works out that your current tenant is able to move out on the end date of their lease and your new tenant is able to move in on day one. This, however, is not always the case. Maybe your new tenant's current lease doesn't end until a month after you want them to move in. Or perhaps your current tenant needs an extra couple weeks to get their ducks in a row. Whatever the case, selling partial months reduces the amount of time that your property remains empty. Turnover is a hidden cost for any rental business. It's not something many landlords regularly build into their projections. It's tied to, but separate from a vacancy rate, and the bottom line is that it's expensive. Good long-term tenants mean steady, manageable income and less effort on your part. Sure, you can hit the jackpot, but you have more control than chance conveys. Take some of these tips to increase your chances of retaining good tenants for the long haul. You'll thank yourself when you have more time and money for your next investment. Thanks for watching and happy renting.